Okay, so, haven't done one for a long time, but I was motivated to do an unboxing video, and I'm motivated because I'm excited, and I'm excited because this is the Totem Metal V2. Totem Metal V2. Yeah. Totem, made in Canada. For 30 years, apparently. Um, virtually unknown to me uh, until about a year ago where I discovered the product and have absolutely fallen in love with their products. Um, what strikes me as being very clever is that they tend to have small stature products that sound pretty big. It is the acoustic and artistic standard to which all others will be measured. <sighs> it's a big claim. They will all be found wanting for there is simply nothing like the Element Metal V2. You had me at hollow. So, follow along. Let's have some fun. Packaging, I think, is more than adequate for the weight and size of the product. It ships individually, so there's a box, a box per speaker. Um, they have a very nice, very unique shape and some uh, proprietary technology, which we will get into as we um, explore these wonderful products. Um, I'm assuming that what we have here is some spikes um, well no we have their uh, their their unique balls uh, very clever little things I'll go into this a bit more so basically these sit under the claw of the um, of the feet um, and they uh, create isolation you get a rubber ball and a metal ball. So, very good. I'll explain those later as we move on. So we have the base of the speaker, which is a, attached by the screws and the Allen keys. <clears throat> trying to open this up without actually damaging the bag, as I like to do. Or cutting my hands, which I also like not doing. This finish is called, I think, Dusk, Dusk, which is black, but Dusk. Oh. There's more. This would be the grill, which we're not going to actually use. Um, and I think these are actually not going to be that heavy um, so we can slide them out so I think the appropriate way to unbox these is to actually tip them on their side let me just adjust the camera so I'm pretty sure that these speakers here um, slide out for easier access look at that so if you're on your own and you've got a large tower speaker, um, I think it's important to be able to actually unpack it without any assistance. And so far, um, I'm managed, managing to cope quite nicely. So, it's out. Uh, not a big speaker, as you can kind of see, but we'll, uh, we'll have a look. You also get a nice nice postcard online warranty registration totem acoustics 
So don't lose the online warranty or registration card. Uh, but in most cases, if you're gonna buy this from a retailer, that will be your first port of call and the receipt you get when you purchase that product is all you're really gonna need for the warranty. Okay, so the top is off. We've gotta put the bottom plinth on. <coughs> and I'm pretty sure everything we need is gonna be in here. Uh, again, everything is nicely sealed. Unfortunately, I've got to cut it off. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? So we've got our screws. Jeez, a lot of screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So uh, nine, 10, 11, 12. So there must be one bag for both speakers. Um, And that means there's two balls per speakers. That's these little things here. It's like a rollerboard derby or rollerboard derby. <coughs> Whichever is your preference. So now, I am assuming that we tip this over on its back, drivers at the front, and we um, can't, inst normally with a lot of speakers, a lot of speakers, with a square top, you can turn them on their head, put the feet on, turn them upside down, and she's sweet. But uh, this speaker has an angled top, which means it ain't going to sit on its head. Um, so make sure that you've got nothing underneath you that's going to damage the speaker. We're on carpet, that's okay. Um, I'm going to put the phone under the speaker while we get this sorted. Um, because the terminals are on the back here and you don't want them sitting on the carpet. All right, <clears throat> so this is the front of the speaker and it has a adjustable toe. <clears throat> I'm gonna call it a toe because I've got no idea what else to call it. Um, and it looks like a toe. This is very similar to the same foot structure that is on some of the other wonderful totem speakers. All right. So you've got your outer layer, soft bag or sock, and then we have another plastic wrap. The Metal V2 is equipped with the second generation of seven inch torrent woofers, precision machined in-house with the exactness of a luxury watt and fine-tuned like a performance engine. Maybe that's where the, um, the exhaust idea came from. But anyway, um, I love motor cars. Uh, I love watches. I'm not wearing one today, but I like watches. And uh, I love music. So, hey, how can we go wrong? All right, so. I'm gonna raise this up a little bit more. We're gonna attach the base, which goes like that with the supplied allen key and the supplied screws. All right. So this is uh, an adjustable screwed thread, which is gonna allow you to angle the speaker in your room. So there's a little bit of built-in uh, room correction or room management, whatever you want to call it. They're in nice and tight. They went in really, really well and didn't thread, which is great. Uh, and that's going to be a real stable footing for this, um, this speaker. While I've got the... I might use the rubber ones, but while I've got the speaker on its side, I'll just show you what happens here. So. Yeah, this is an adjustable front toe. These little balls go in there and that's gonna be uh, isolation. Uh, they fall out a fair bit. What I've noticed with the other totem speakers is that once it's actually um, in there for a little while, you can move the speaker around and they don't, they don't seem to come out. So they kind of wedge themselves in quite nicely. Um, we've got, I think, two or three speakers now on the floor that have got the same sort of um, footing and same sort of ball thing. So I'm going to leave these out for now because they will definitely fall out when I tip the speaker back up and we'll have a look at it in its 
in its glory. Let me just uh, get a close up of that uh, bottom foot for you. Let's get a closer look of this feet system. So there's the the front camel toe. I shouldn't call it a camel toe, should I? The front toe, but it is a toe, and it kind of looks like a camel toe. But anyway, let's not let's not judge that. And then you can see the plate which screws into the bottom really nicely done it actually looks like it's just part of it so it's really really well done i kind of like that same on both sides and then you've got um these little balls which just sort of sit in there so when you're moving it around you know you may get a little ball rolling away from you but basically that holds it in place and then like i said you will adjust this to angle the front face of that speaker and you also get the silver balls. I'll use the rubber to begin with and then we'll see if it makes a difference in terms of sound. Okay, so that's pretty much the speaker lying down, nicely protected. Always protect your beautiful speakers. Let's get this back up. Ooh. Okay. So let's remove the balls. We're going to go rolling around. Other screws are there. Bend your legs. It's not that heavy. And there she goes. Look at that. So, no moisture. Um, the plastic is quite flimsy, so you're going to find that this is likely to not be overly reusable. It should be okay, it came off quite nicely. Um, I'm not a huge fan of gloss black finishes for the showroom because um, they do tend to mark, but this is a beautiful finish. Um, the drivers, uh, the surrounds for the drivers are, are a machine aluminium. They are absolutely stunning. Um, the pictures don't do it justice. I had a look at the images, I had a look at the description, I thought, oh yeah, it looks okay, but you know, they really made it sound that, like a, a, a lot nicer. But when you look at this in, in the flesh, um, it's beautiful. The, the aluminium drivers are just lovely. They're beautifully machined. Uh, really, really nice. Um, I'm hoping it's going to sound amazing because, again, it was quite exciting to read about it. Um, let me just... Oh, look at that, it is reported. I'm going to get the portable camera and we'll have a bit of a view. All right, let's have a look. So, excuse my back. So as we look down the speakers, you can see there the uh, beautifully machined aluminium face plates and seven inch torrent face drivers. There's the foot. Maybe not the nicest contrast in carpets, but hey, it's what I've got. Um, and as we walk along to the side, uh, it's a beautiful gloss finish. That's flawless. Um, hopefully it will stay flawless. Gloss black, yeah. Anyway. And this is the back, so Pretty good. One of the descriptions I read about it was uh, like a performance car and I can see why. It's got the uh, exhaust pipes from a Triumph by the looks of it. Motorbike, not a car, but anyway. So this is the back plate. All looks pretty good. Um, Biampable binding posts, very good quality. Um, there it is. Toda Metal Element Series. Metal V2. 4 ohms, uh, 50 to 300 watts, beautiful, and the serial number. And then here is the ports. Looks really nice, doesn't it? And the uh, totem logo. I should ask what that logo means one day. I will when I get someone from totem here. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, stealth black finish. This is the stealth black finish. I always thought stealth meant invisible. This is definitely not invisible. 
thank you for um, for watching the unboxing of the Totem Element Metal V2 in Dusk. Stealth Black. Um, black Dusk. I'm a little bit confused with the colour, but um, apparently we have Dusk and we have Ice. Ice is white. Dusk is black. I mean, it looks like black. This is black. You know, it's not black. It's dusk. It's beautiful. Let's hope it doesn't scratch. Let's make sure no one touches it. Great thing about an angled, angled top, if you can see that, is that it's hard for your mates to put drinks on. Yeah. Beautiful. Do you want to see the grill? Let me get the grill. I should Magnetic, but there's a, a cross beam there, so it sits in between the tweeter and the uh, the top woofer. So that is the grill on, and that is the grill off. And for my money, the grill off has it. So the grill is staying off for now, and we'll put this aside and listen to it. Thank you very much for your attendance. I'll be back when they're set up and um, we'll have a listen. Cheers guys.